Hello everyone and welcome to a new Infinity Kingdom video. This is King Kade from 49 and in this video guys I want to continue the series of videos uh, I started last week about the Immortals artifacts and in this video I want to cover the ranged Immortals artifacts. I want to keep the mages for last since they are they have the bigger pool and they have the uh, bigger options of artifacts that they can choose from. So let's start and Ranged Immortal stats are pretty much like attack immortals. They have a very high physical attack and a low magical attack. They have a decent physical defense and a high magical defense. It's not as as high as the attack immortals. They are, they are like the smaller versions. However, the, the, the stats rates are pretty much uh, like the attack immortals. If we take a look here, I don't have the artifacts on... Where did it go? Yeah, I'm, I'm using a different marsh at the moment, but the attack immortals are pretty much like ranged immortals. And as for the artifacts choices that are available for them, you can choose either a physical attack artifact as its main attribute, or you can choose an artifact as accuracy uh, stat as its main attribute and in my opinion accuracy stat is very useless on ranged immortals because whenever you're running a ranged immortal as your main damager you'll be combining it with caution you can play a ranged immortal as your main damage and you don't have caution on this marsh so it's very pointless to have accuracy artifact on your ranged immortal uh, because they already have a high accuracy stat. I'm not sure if it's the accuracy stat that is high or the probability of their skill landing is very high. However, I rarely see ranged immortals missing their ultimate skill. As for the main stat that you need to go for is the physical attack bonus. Uh, this is the stat that you need to go for because at late game... Physical Immortals have a very high physical attack. So adding more 25% into this will grant you a lot of physical attack and a lot of damage input into your fights. I I know I have, I'm using a flat amount of physical attack on my artifact on Yushi. However, I didn't notice that physical attack bonus could be higher. And if we make a quick comparison here... Even though this artifact is way better than the one I'm using on Gilgamesh. Because it has 3 attributes of physical attack. And main attribute and 2 secondary attributes. This one here add 100 physical attack. This one here add 3.5% physical attack. Even though it has this much physical attacks on it. If we replace it to another one that only has 1 physical attack bonus which is the 25%. Let's take a look at the stats first. You can see here that my Yushi got 4040 physical attack on him. If we replace this, you'll be able to see that physical attack dropped by only 100 points, even though this one here has only one attribute of physical attack. This means that physical attack bonus is way better than the flat amount of physical attack. And as for the special attribute, I don't think that ranged immortals have a high uh, critical hit. I'm not sure about this, but I don't think it will be as high as a mage, right? Now this is... Uh... Yeah, I've got all around or almost 4,000 critical hit on my Merlin here. So compared to Yushi, it's not as high. Let's add his artifact back. Yeah, it's not as high as this. Even though he gets crit value from his weapons or this is the case for all weapons. Yeah, this is the case for all weapons. And he is getting accuracy rate from his set as well. This is one of the reasons, maybe. 
Alright, so he doesn't have the high critical hit, so using Annihilation Artifact on him is not a good idea. The best that you can come up with is the Iron Fist, because I know it's only 10% compared to Annihilation, which is the 20%, but Annihilation works only on the critical damage. It only increases the critical damage by 20%. And since he's not that he's not dealing that much of critical damage, so Iron Fist will add more value, which is the twenty percent overall damage that he dealt over the fight. So a quick recap, guys, about their stats. They're pretty much like the attack immortals: high physical attack, low magical attack, a decent physical defense, and a bit higher magical defense. It's not as high as the attack immortals. But it is a bit similar. And about the artifacts, you need to go for the physical attack bonus, not the one that I'm using here. For the special attribute, you need to look for the Iron Fist and not the Annihilation one. I think this is everything you need to know about the uh, ranged immortals. So if you're running it as your main damager such as Junkies Khan or the uh, the shadow one Elizabeth I think you will need to use a physical attack bonus artifact with Iron Fist since they are these type of immortals does not deal critical damage that much and if they are in case you are using weakness it won't be that much since their critical hit stat is not as high as a mage so this is it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, if you have a, low, a comment leave it down below, I read all comments and I try to reply to all comments, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.